Hey guys, see that farmhouse behind me? Well, today we're going to build it. Alright, we started with a hilltop because I wanted to be able to have a clear view to the house and from the house to the area around it. So if you're doing a house for decorative purposes, you want to be able to make sure that it is easily and clearly seen. Plus, I also know that this particular house has the little garage breezeway through it. So what I did is I prepared it, the area beforehand and added a little area for the road that I'm going to put in here. We have the actual footprint of the house done in cobblestone and in spruce. Figure we're in a spruce forest, might as well use the uh, materials that are handy and useful for us. But we're only using the cobblestone uh, for the base, the first uh, block on the wall here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to end up carrying the, uh, the log pillars upwards. And we are going to add a little bit of the clay which we're going to use for this particular build. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to pull these uh, pillars upwards and then we'll continue after I get that finished with. Alright, we got the, uh, the wooden timbers in place here. They're going five from the ground up here. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we are going to go in and we're going to put the clay in place here. And what we're doing is we're just bringing it up Actually, I think I need to have that there. We're going to bring it up to the same level as the top of this particular set of timbers. So you're going to have, end up having a bunch of H's, very likely. Now, I've put the torches here where windows are supposed to be. So we are going to come back to those here in a little bit. Let me finish up with the clay and we'll see the next step. All right, here we go. Check it out. I added a crossbar, which is what we're going to start doing across the board, but I added a crossbar here and also on the other side of the tunnel here. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to put a crossbar in everywhere around, uh, pretty much at the top of everything here. Let me see, we're going to run this one across here. I'm going to do the same thing around the top, and uh, I'm going to get that finished, and I'll show you what it looks like. And the cross beams are in place, so at this point the cross beam should sit, I believe it's six, right? Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, and at the six the cross beam should be sitting. And this area here is going to be the, like the living room area, and this is going to be the kitchen area. So I wanted to make sure that we had this area nice and open. We're going to also start, as you can see, I put in the, uh, the sort of the peak for the roof here on both sides. And I have the shape that I think I'm going to use built over here. We're just going to duplicate that uh, right on the other side here. Bring that up to, I think, first. And we're just going to put that all the way up here. We're going to start putting in floors next. And uh, the floors and then the actual different floors. So let's see what we want to use here. Um, it's going to be a slab. We're going to use a slab floor. I think bricks are going to come into play pretty soon here. We're going to need these bricks for the, the chimney. Let's get a bit of nether rack on hand just in case. Um, we could certainly start putting in the windows at this point. So let's grab uh, some glass panes. Uh, don't think we're going to need cobblestone on hand for the moment, but that could always change. You never know. Um, let me see here. Anything else that I need? I need the slabs that we were talking about in the first place. So let's see here. Slab. What color wood do we want to use? I am aiming for the oak wood slabs. I think the oak wood looks just dandy. And we're going to go, and we're going to slab. Hello there, pig a pig <laughs> Yeah, what's up? You want some wood? Okay. We're going to replace all this floor here with oak slabs. Or if you want on the floor, you can use actual um, oak blocks, the full block. 
Um, that's up to you. It depends on how much of a basement you want and how much of a ceiling you want in your basement. And then we are going to put them up at this level as well. At least just for this back part here. Because this is how we're going to get to the second portion of the house out through this way. Now this part we're going to leave entirely open. It's going to have a balcony. It's going to be pretty cool. And then what we're going to do is we are also bringing this out this way. We got the chimney. Pull that there like that and that like that. That like that and like thus and like so. Now, let me see here. Uh, instead of having brick, let's try the stone brick blocks. The stone brick block. Or slab. Mm -hmm. Is that right? I'm checking. Making my list. I'm checking it twice. I'm not sure if this is how I want to build it, but I know that I do want to have this going across the front. Do I want the actual fire to be right here, though? One block ahead. Hmm. Like right here, and have this like that. Or like B double O likes to do, use um, one of these guys like that. Let's try something. I want to see. I'm a curious. I'm gonna pick the th tools, flint and steel. Do a little test. We're just gonna replace the floor in here anyway. So let me just knock. Oops, knock this all out. Probably going to do a different type of floor for the uh, the bat, the kitchen area over here. Give a, a nice sort of tile floor of some sort. Or maybe even a brick floor. That could look nice, actually. Whoa. Yeah. There's a cave under here. Uh, don't, don't worry about the cave. <laughs> All right, with our progress, you can see that we have the fireplace put in place. I've moved the fire block back one. I have one brick in place there in front of it. And I just put a little bit of the iron bars as a grating. That should be enough to keep the fire from spreading. Again, we don't have any corners open. When you're making a fireplace, make sure you don't have any diagonal areas. Like if you have a fire here, a block here, and a block here. It could spread to this spot here if it's not blocked off. Um, this is what else we can see as I've got floors in all the way up to the third floor. I have yet to come in and put the actual third floor in entirely. We also are just about ready to put the roof on. And of course, we're going to be doing the roof in stairs. Probably going to gonna end up being a wooden stair. I don't often use a whole lot of like stone stairs just because they, I don't think they look quite right. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to use the jungle wood stairs or if I want to use the acacia wood stairs. So we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna try out a little bit, see what I think, show you what I think, and then continue from there. We got the fireplace. Uh, all the way elevated up here. I have an actual chimney in place for the chimney and fireplace setup and a bit of a grating here just in case something were to fall down there. Anyway, let's put the roof on. We'll see how it goes from there. Here's a couple of the different options here. Here's the jungle wood versus the acacia wood. And to be honest, I think the acacia wood looks way better. So we're going to end up knocking out this here. We're going to replace it with the acacia wood stairs. I'm going to finish up the stairs, and I also want to throw some windows up here on this sec uh, third floor. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that here in just a second. Much better. Take a look at that. The only area that we have to finish up is that little top slip along the top here. And what we are going to do is 
so we don't have to light the roof as we're going to use the, the slab that matches the roof bit that we used. Monsters cannot spawn on half slabs that are on the bottom, not the top of a area. And the bottom half, like that, they'd be able to spawn up here on this, but they can't spawn on this level. Same with the stairs. Monsters can't spawn on, on the stairs. So if you are trying to build something and you are not sure how to light it, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Alright, so we have this area here where you come in and it's awfully tight quarters. As you can see, what I ended up doing is I just took a stair piece and I stuck it in the corner on both sides here and it melded nicely into that section there. Thanks to the fact that the stairs meld and merge so very well now. Uh, we're going to put this across the top here. And then we're going to oops, fall down here. The kitchen we're going to seal up and I'm going to actually carry the roof design right on down. Is that how I want to do it? Yes, absolutely. We're going to do it this way and oops. Come on now. Come on, blocks. Come on now. You want to work with me? There we go. Seal this up. There we go. That is a nice kitchen area there. If we wanted to, we can actually... Oops, sorry about that. Put the roof out a little bit over. And you can even do that over here as well. Or wherever, when you're building your houses, wherever you think. It gives your house more depth. Plus, it's also how real roofs are. They don't just stop at the wall. They come out a little bit, you know, to give you a little bit of an overhang from the rain and the weather and such. So we're going to do that to all, the whole thing here. Oops. And then, uh, what was the last bit that I wanted to talk about here? Not really the last bit, but we're talking about the windows again. So let's go take a look at what I need to do over here. I want to have... Hold on a second here while I go um, check a reference illustration. Okay, this is what we're doing. We're going to stick this bit here, and we're going to stick that bit like that. And we're going to repeat that right here. And we are also going to bring out the windows and use the slab across the top. We're going to pull that straight up into there, just like that. Just like we did the little doorway just a second ago. Just like we did that, you see. Great. Great. Cool. Alright, so we're going to put the window there and a window there. And because we're trying to get the the sort of the depth when you're building houses try to make your your layers and your depth better I find that it just adds a little bit more realism to it so there we go so far so good we got an awesome awesome uh, couple of bay windows here on both sides of the uh, on either side of the fireplace for the living room we got those windows in place and all we have to do yet is bring the chimney up a little bit higher. Let's do that right now. Right here. Hello, a chimney. Now, how much higher do we want this chimney to go? That's a good question. And the other question is, is do we want to break up the pattern for the chimney? Because now that it's up higher, we don't have to worry about the fire itself catching things. So. We could actually chop away some of the chimney like this and give it a different shape towards the top. And the only way to know if that's going to look good is to, to see what it looks like from the bottom. And I actually think that looks pretty good. I want to actually knock away one more block here and also here. And then we're going to just stick 
some more slabs on the top because that's what we do in the Minecraft. We don't want to light something up. We want to make it look nice. Got to make those half slabs work for you. Um, we're going to make the half slabs work for us also right here as well. Otherwise, skeletons will, and creepers will start spawning on my roof. and You know it wants that. People think it's Santa Claus all the time. Get up there, get blown up. It's no good. And if you didn't want to use that, you could obviously also um, kind of go in like that. Maybe go a little bit lower. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. How about that? Does that look better? I don't know. Make your own chimney the way you want to make it. Let's go take a look on the inside here real quick. We're going to walk inside and see how it looks. Everything looks well. We have the, the stairway that leads to the second floor here. And again, we have another stairway here that leads up to the third floor. This third floor is where the windows are, so you can come up to the windows, see clearly outside. And uh, I think we're going to need to put something over here. Knock this area out of the place. We're going to make an extra window that sort of sits out there. And then we're also going to end up making a sort of chimney thing on the top up here. All right, we got those windows in place. I added this little bit because uh, it needed it, I guess. I don't know. Actually, let me knock it. Oops. This bit out and close that with that. How does that look? It's supposed to be basically like a vent, or, you know, so when you are in the attic all the hot air can rise up and out. I have started putting this along the way here because I wanted to show you what I'm going to do window wise here. Uh, let's put torch here, torch here, torch there for now. What we can put in the bottom real quick. A quick fix as it were. Bookshelf, right? Book! Bookshelf. Book them, Dano. All right, we're going to see the bookshelves right along there. Same thing on the other side here. And let's see, we need the log back in our inventory. Spruce log. Where are you hiding, spruce log? Hello, spruce log. We meet again. Let's put that across the top here, and we're going to window this up. Oops. There we go. Like that, and like that. So you can still come over here and look out and see the sunrise. Plenty of room to do all sorts of stuff in here. And if you really wanted to, you could put this up here like a top supportive beam. If you didn't want to do it that way, you could also maybe try oops, doing something like that, right? But I think that's a little bit too cluttered, so I wouldn't bother with that. There you go. This is the attic, the attic room. We're going to go, and I think next episode, we're going to try decorating this place. Make sure all the stairs work. Test all your stuff out. We haven't put any doors on here either. There's a little room. Not really sure what to do with some of these rooms, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. The stairs, everyone has enough headroom. The house hasn't set on fire. That's always a tricky part now, isn't it? I think we're going to need to do this, actually, across the top. Match it with the attic room. The attic chamber. Is that better? Absolutely. What if we did something like this? Actually, I don't think I like that. In theory, I do, but when it comes to running out of room over here, it's not good. Not good at all. All right. So we're going to furnish this room next time. I think I'm going to knock this out and make a little doorway there. Just a little doorway. A little something. We're going to finish this road the next time also. And that will be that. We'll finish up the house. We'll put some decorations and uh, landscaping in. And we might even add a storm cellar here. 
So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little something different than what I'm I normally put out, but it's something I think I'd like to get into. If you had any questions, comments, or criticisms, you know where to put those answers and questions and comments. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot.